December 26th. Happy Boxing Day. Mm. December 26th. Happy Afterbirth, Jesus. Ah. Now that you've been born, the real suffering can begin. Just another, uh, four to five months, four to six months, five months, and they're gonna fucking hang you up on a goddamn rude right in front of everybody, half naked. Looking good, that's the best part of that story. He was in pretty good shape. Happy afterbirth. And see, I think about this, it's like, it makes me think of these cultures where they bring down from the olden days these things they still use, like eating the fucking afterbirth of the newborn because the mother in those times needed the energy, the strength, and it's full of good stuff. You know, it's just stuff that's meant for healing and growth and super, super speed fucking getting things right. And so they feed him the afterbirth, the placenta. And you think about that. Wouldn't it make sense 2,000 years ago that the mother of the baby Jesus, sweet baby Jesus, Tastes like chicken. Not just any chicken, but chicken from the future. 11 herbs and spices. KFC. Yeah. Nice. Columbus. No. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah. Which makes you wonder why is it the fucking Knights of Columbus are all dressed up so well and, and got uniforms and shit that's sitting there. Like, you, you know, there are dark initiations and ceremonies. I've been through a little bit of it being in the Colombian Squires. Chief Squire, last known, circle 1713 out of Gaylord, Michigan. I killed another faith. That's where they used to bring the boys up to think they were better than everybody. And I was the last one to let them believe. They just kind of at the end of it said, ah, I guess that's that. Sometimes knowing that nothing means anything at all is, is a, it's a, a matter of enlightenment. It means if nothing means anything at all, that means we have it in us to make this thing better. We don't have to count on others. We get to do it one step at a time, walking down the street, saying hello to each other, waving in the car on the way by. Who's that, Dad? I have no idea. I'm like, why are you waving at me? He says, you just do. Ah. And whereas then you get to the city and you walk by people, hey, how you doing? And they're like, ah, 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 son of a bitch, I'll kill a bitch, I'll kill a bitch. You know, it's like, wow. Guess this place needs a little bit more help. Mm. Seem to have had it all worked out in Gaylord, even without a wall, which I've been saying for years, they should build one around it to keep people out. I think to keep people in. <laughs> Those with the gumption will have the strength to climb that wall and go out into the world and see there's something else and quite possibly bring it home. <sighs> 
But what if Mother Mary had eaten the afterbirth, the placenta, sweet baby Jesus, just to get her strength back up afterwards? Can you imagine that? That's got to be like doing mescaline. <sighs> She's eating God placenta. There's a reason she's all quiet like that in all those pictures. They say it's serenity. I say it's being stoned out of your mind and all hopped up for eternity on God.